Hello, this is Kirill from forexboat.com and welcome back to the course on money management. Today we're finishing off the Kelly Criterion section, which uh, is really exciting. We're going to summarize everything we learned in this section. It's going to be a fun tutorial, but before we do, I would like to ask you for um, a favor. I know I've already brought this up, uh, but could you please re leave a review for this course if you haven't yet? And if you haven't, please just pause this video right now and go to the course page. There's a button up at the top that says write a review. If you click it and you leave the number of stars that you think I deserve, you put in maybe a comment if you like, click add a review. I would be very, very grateful. Let me know how I did. Did I um, do above your expectations? Was the course below your expectations? Um, tell tell me everything more more importantly tell um, the students that have not yet taken this course what you liked the most about it um, was it my teaching style was it the material did you learn something new um, help the people that haven't taken this course yet understand whether it's worth the time or not thank you very much I really hope you can do that for me and now let's get back to the show alright so the Kelly criterion what did we learn First of all, we learned the background of the Kelly Criterion, that it is a long-term assessment of a strategy. It doesn't work uh, for one trade, for maybe even five trades. It works in the long run. It tells us what will happen if we continue applying this trading strategy over a prolonged series of trades. And what it shows us is the optimal investment that we need to make on every trade to maximize our return in the long run. Next is the application. The formula is very simple. You just have to plug in two numbers into one formula and you get your uh, Kelly value. And in order to get those values that you need to plug into the formula, you can look at your trading history. As long as you have enough trades um, over the past several months, you just uh, calculate some um, values from there put and put them into the formula and finally the outputs if your Kelly is less than zero the strategy is no good this is something we didn't actually talk about but it just makes sense if um, your Kelly is negative that basically means that there's no option for you to um, make money from the strategy in the long run what it, what the formula is telling you in this case is that you should be on the other side of the fence. You should be either the bookie if this is sports betting or you should be the casino if this is uh, gambling or you should be the foreign exchange if uh, this is forex trading. Finally, you should use the half Kelly if you want extra stability. So if you want to be a bit more conservative but get a lot more stability in your trading, then it's recommended to use the half Kelly. So that's all for this section. Hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to leave a review if you haven't yet. And I look forward to seeing you in the final section of this course. Until then, happy trading.